Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. First thing you want to do is cut your garlic into thin slices. Now we need to make some mustard marinade, and I'm going to use this wasabi paste. But you can use Chinese mustard if you prefer. Then add balsamic vinegar. Some honey to sweeten up the sour. And I'm also going to add some anchovy paste. But don't let these ingredients scare you. They won't make your lamb spicy and it's not going to taste fishy either. What it will do is neutralize the gamey flavor in the lamb. Now for a glaze we're going to use one part of this black bean garlic sauce. Add one part hoisin sauce. and two parts sweet chili sauce. And if you want an amazing sauce for your pan fried, grilled, or steamed fish, this is the ticket right here. I also use it to dip my salt and pepper calamari and it's fantastic with shrimp as well. Now here I've got a four and a half pound leg of lamb. If you'd like you can French the bone about two to three inches from the end by cutting in a circular motion all the way around the bone. And you won't need to remove this piece here until after it's cooked. Now you want to just make some small incisions and spread them out evenly so we can stuff the leg with garlic. If you'd like, you can even backfill with some rosemary and get aromatic. But it really won't be necessary if you follow this next step. Instead of scoring the fat side, make quarter inch deep slices and you can crisscross your cuts going in between the garlic. Now drizzle olive oil over the top and rub it into the meat. Be sure to get both sides then come back over the top with some kosher salt and pepper. Again be sure to get all sides. Now you want to just sear the meat over high heat and I generally spend about a minute to a minute and a half per side. Wrapping a paper towel around the end helps to flip it back and forth. And as you can see here, we've got some good color. And color does mean flavor. Just be sure to turn it up on its end and get all sides. Now in a roasting pan, we're going to add our wasabi mix while the leg is still hot. And if you rub that into every cut, nook and cranny, the wasabi and vinegar will attack and neutralize the oxidizing unsaturated fat, which in turn gets rid of that gamey flavor that makes it unpleasant to eat. Now if you want to cheat like I do, just skew the meat with the thermometer, cover with a lid, and throw in the center rack of your oven and slow roast this at 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to set my first internal temp at 120 degrees. In the meantime it's good to prep other ingredients. Here I'm toasting some sesame seeds and I'm going to add some fresh chopped mint. It only takes a couple minutes for these seeds to turn from white to a cream colored tan. Then you can throw them on a plate and let them cool down. As a topping, I've also added some fresh mint to some diced mango and pineapple. Checking back in on the leg of lamb, we've reached the 120 degree target temp. So far, it's looking really juicy and succulent. And as I promised, this piece can be pulled right off. Just a tad bit of cosmetics you now have a Frenched leg bone. Now it's time to add the glaze. As you can see this is going to add some real nice color and the bold sweet flavor you get from this sauce is just incredible. But we're not finished yet. You want to keep the lid off 
and put this back in the oven right in the center rack under the broiler. And here's what you end up with. Perfection. Now just hit it with the toasted mint and sesame seeds. Then top it with mango and pineapple. And there you have it. Leg of lamb with sweet chili glaze right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.